The killer whale show was once all about the spectacle, but now... Right now, SeaWorld is at a point where we are evolving our killer whale presentations to more closely reflect our conservation and education mission. The shift coming almost a decade after a SeaWorld trainer was killed by an orca. And then the widely viewed documentary Blackfish that challenged the practice of using captured orcas and others bred in captivity simply for entertainment. Did Blackfish force you to realize it's time to shift? I think Blackfish was a poignant moment in our company's history for sure. SeaWorld says they're changing the killer whale displays at each of their parks, San Diego, San Antonio, and now Orlando, to be less about music, tricks, and dancing. There's a vein that runs along the inside of each lobe of their tail flukes. And more about education. Morgan Rickey works with the whales. We're definitely still going to have the wow behaviors, but what we're doing is we're explaining the why. But critics argue the whales do not belong in captivity. Captivity causes emotional mental problems and also physical problems. Physical problems like droopy dorsal fins from spending too much time at the surface and mental problems like boredom. They are intelligent, so when they are in a box, it's boring. And this year, TripAdvisor, Virgin Atlantic, and British Airways Holidays announced they will no longer sell tickets to SeaWorld, reflecting changing attitudes about wild animals in captivity. Eventually, killer, killer whales won't be in our parks at SeaWorld. SeaWorld made the commitment to stop its orca breeding program in 2016. And for this last generation of whales, a new environment, striped bass, where once only orcas lived. And if the whale eats a fish in front of a child? If the whale eats a fish, uh, it's the circle of life. Down below is Katina. And then Captive like orcas becoming less performers and SeaWorld hopes more unique educators. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Orlando. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.